Hello, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Legend Mode. I'm Mr. Viperfang, and last time, we stopped Sia and put an end to all of the bad stuff happening around Hyrule. And peace is, once again, the hot topic of Hyrule, so everyone's happy. Today, though, we're going to be playing as the villain. We're going to be playing as Ganondorf for a few missions. Ganondorf has two weapons to choose from. However, the second weapon, the Trident, is kind of DLC, so I don't know if I want to mess with that one. I'm going to try to stick to as much uh, vanilla content as possible during the main run of Legend Mode. So, who knows? I might use it on uh, one of his later missions. It all depends on how I feel. But we're going to be playing with the great swords today because they're actually pretty damn good. Also, get ready for cutscenes. Link and his friends defeated Sia and her legions, returning peace to Hyrule. But that peace would be short lived. At the moment when Link drew the Master Sword from its pedestal, he had inadvertently broken the seal on the last spirit fragment's prison setting it free to unite with the others. His spirit made whole, Ganondorf was reborn. His first act was to return to Gerudo Desert, the center of his power in Hyrule. Once there, he summoned the spirits of Zant and Girahim from their imprisonment to serve him. Finally, Ganondorf would hold the complete Triforce in his hands and wield its full power. Knowing his enemies were approaching, he built a stronghold in Gerudo Desert for the coming battles. With Sand and Girahim at his side, Ganondorf was poised to conquer Hyrule. The future was bleak for the forces of light. Way to go, Link! You unleashed Ganondorf! And now we get to play as him. Let's have some fun, shall we? Also another cutscene. Follow my every command, or else perish again. Come, the Triforce shall be mine. That's a horrible voice, I'll try to do something different for him. Or I might just talk, talk normally. I just wanted to try an evil voice. Alright, I have all of his attack badges, at least for his combos, unlocked, so I've got his full repertoire of attacks. So we're going to be having a lot of fun during these missions. His strong attacks are very, very slow. However, they do a lot of damage. Ow. You're also very vulnerable to attacks because they have a long charge up time to fully implement. Fully utilize, I mean. All right, let's go on and take these guys out. There we go. Monster forces are advancing towards Ganondorf's forces. All right, let's unleash a nice little Dark Lightning special attack. You can tell it's Dark Lightning because the lightning is blue instead of a yellowish color. All right. Let's do that. The key boss has appeared. Um, I want to try to keep my KO count below a thousand before a certain point because we can't technically access the Gold Skull in, in this area quite yet. So I'm going to try to control myself for the time being and only use uh, and only go all out after I've gotten the Gold Skull so basically, I'm going to stick to the objective of taking keeps for right now. She's 500 already, and it's not even five minutes into the uh, mission. Capture the South Desert Keep next. Okay, the camera decided not to work. Cool. Ganondorf has beaten 500 enemies. Yay! 
Ooh, there's a oh, there's a boulder here. And no, it's not my uh, heart container. Let's do this one. Nice. That uh, strong attack is the only one where you don't have invincibility frames when you unleash it. Or it's the only one that you have invincibility frames for when you unleash it, not when you're charging it up. Nice. So basically, meter management is very important for playing as Ganondorf. Basically, use your strong attacks to charge up the meter when there aren't really any lieutenant uh, types around. And then unleash hell when you're next to lieutenant types because you can basically one-shot them at that point. All right, I should be close enough to uh, the gold, getting the gold skull to, let's, to where I can just go all out, just about. Man, two bombos. All right, let's take this one next. All right, I need to keep an eye on Zant because he has a tendency to take a lot of damage during this mission. Which is why I've got my handy dandy gamepad with me. Where I can keep track of my uh, allies' health bars, even though I'm using a pro controller to play. There we go, there's the Skulltula. Let's get the keep boss, and then I'm heading straight for the Skulltula. Also, there may be a boulder here. I don't know. No, it, it doesn't look like it. Also, I have a feeling I know where the uh, boulder that has his heart container is. You can handle it, Zant. I'll be right back. So whiny. All Clifftop Keep, North Oasis, and Rockface Keep gates are open. Also, I'm just going to continue this way. I discovered a prison. I'll get back to that later. Actually, I can talk about it while I'm heading toward the Gold Skulltula. There are three different prison type areas in this on this map, and they all hold uh, rogue forces. We kill the gatekeepers to open up the prisons so that we can utilize the uh, prisoners for our own nefarious deeds. All right, I hope this is, yep, there it is, perfect. There we go, now I can go on ahead and worry about my allies. I'm gonna go on ahead and take this keep just because. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. Nah, I'll just do that. Oh, that wasn't enough, really. Oh no, big bosses are appearing. We've got a King Dodongo on our, uh, we've got a King Dodongo in the mix. And Zant is a little low on health at the moment, so... That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, Zant is in serious trouble at the moment. I gotta head down there and make sure he doesn't die. Don't worry, Zant, I'm coming to get ya. You know, Ganondorf has a point. He's whining and he's a king. Oh, you, get back here. Hey, Zant, let me heal you. There you go. Now go on ahead and deal that with that Dodongo and I'll be happy about it. We've got a big boss on our uh, plate, along with some arrow pulls that we have to beat. But, uh, I'm kind of content with uh, killing enemies at the moment. Oh god. Yeah, we lost it. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, now let's unleash hell. 
Nice. Alright, let's go on ahead and retake this keep, and then I'm heading to beat King Dodongo. One, two, three. Oh, hello, boys. I am here to wreck house. Ooh. A lot of you have lined up. That's very good. Jeez, 72 kills. So many materials. All right, let's go on and do this one. The longer you hold your, the uh, buttons to charge your strong attacks, the more that meter fills. I think I've said that before, but yeah. It bears repeating. Hello. There we are. Nice. Admittedly, Ganondorf is not very good at taking out a uh, giant boss's weak points because his strong attacks take too long to charge up properly. But luckily, with enough uh, special attacks, and if you're charging a strong attack while he's getting into his stun animation, you can take him out easily. All right, perfect. Get these guys away. There we go. I'm probably gonna have a very big kill count at the end of this. Nice. Waited for the right moment. I don't think that was one of the arrow fools I was supposed to take out, but whatever. Uh, let's go on ahead and search for Ganondorf's heart container. I'm also going to kill enemies along the way, so this might take a couple minutes. I discovered a prison. Let's break out the prisoner, shall we? But why? The North Prison is open. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, at least we've got a regiment of uh, Dark Nuts. Let's go on ahead and uh, try to save Gear him. He's kind of in trouble. Yes, I can see that. Nice. I took them both out. Uh, is there another Bemos in here, or is that the only one? All right, we are at level five because we've killed so many people. All right, outpost taken. Now let's go on ahead and get back to getting the heart container. Ah, here it is. And I've discovered the last prison. All right. Let's also see his uh, ch chest opening animation. He just freaking kicks it. And I think the chest uh, shook a little bit when he did that. Free us. No problem. I got you, fam. All right. There we go. Nice. Your life is mine to do with as I please. Basically, just serve me and we'll have no problems whatsoever. Retake this one. Nice. There we go. Retaken. Let's head down to that uh, prison in the southeast corner of the map. Want to have all the prisoners on our side. Now, granted, I don't think we actually need to free any of the prisoners since it's not a main objective, but we could use the numbers, so let's go on ahead and do so anyway. Ooh, you guys respawned quickly. There we go. 
I didn't even need that. Why'd I do that? There we go. We have defeated 25 enemies, and we have all three prisons opened. All right, Zant seems to be doing okay. Let's go on ahead and wreck this place. So I think this is where the uh, piece of heart is. So we've gotten the gold skulltula, we've gotten the heart container. So this should be all the uh, stuff. There we go. There we go. It's either a weapon or it's his piece of heart. I don't even know if we uh, get access to his level two weapon in legend mode. I think that's an adventure mode. But anyway, we got all the collectibles for the level. Let's just go on ahead and take care of those arrowfuls in the north. I need to go this way. I think Irahim and Xant are gonna be okay. I have a feeling some bad stuff's gonna be happening once I beat these arrowfuls. Ah, there it is. Do a quick one. And now let's go on in and take them out completely. I I actually think those uh his strong attack can actually break guards. Either that or the arrow full side uh, lowered his guard just as I unleashed it. Nice. The Aerofalls were defeated. Zant and Girahim's morale improved. Nice. All right, I've got a full magic meter, so this is gonna be a lot more fun. Strength befitting the Demon King. It's wonderful. Oh uh, yeah, more big bosses. Basically throwing Goma and I think Manhandla at us. Yippers! We've got th two more big bosses to handle. So let me go on ahead and take care of the easiest of the two, which is Goma. And I think he's in the northern part of the desert. Victory conditions have changed. There we go. Let's get this outpost retaken. Uh, you should probably focus on taking him out, though, Girahim. I know you, you're a masochist, but we kind of need to make sure this desert is secure for nefarious deeds. Dang. I never really tried that strong attack on uh, giant bosses. Is this enough to take him out? Yes, it is. Cool. Level up? Not quite. Alright. Let's go on ahead and take out Manhandla, the most RNG, uh, dependent boss ever. I really don't like facing Manhandla most of the time. Alright, give me one of your good attacks. Oh, perfect! Go. Let's go on ahead and do this one. And this one. Sheesh, over 3,000 enemies this mission. And we're done. We defeated all of the giant bosses. Woohoo! <laughs> now this is the power of a god. Ganondorf reminds me of my lord, Demise. May his reign never cease. <laughs> this resistance was pitiful, but oh well. Not every battle can be one worth retelling. Demon Lord indeed. Alright, we also get to see his victory animation, which is kind of 
Neat. If they wanted to go for menacing, they got it. Dang, I killed a lot of people. All right, and I got some uh, new swords, which I'm probably going to be using for the next mission. All right, so that's another mission completed, and I don't have to do any uh, backtracking to get any extra materials or treasures. So yeah, we're done for today completely. So next time... We're going to be heading to the Valley of Seers to... I think we're going to be uh, trying to take the Triforce of Power away from Lana because she's kind of holding on to it. So yeah, we're going to go on ahead and kick Lana's ass. Later.